Hi everybody. Well, it's been a long time coming, but I'm finally back. I've had quite a busy year, um, basically with my art. I've done a few exhibitions this year, and I don't seem to have had time to make any other videos. And it's been 12 months since the last one. I can't believe how the time has gone this year. I do apologise for not actually uh, being around, but um, I've also been upgrading my kit as well because uh, I was not entirely happy with some of the videos that I submitted to YouTube. So I've bought myself a Canon M50 camera now and a shotgun mic. So hopefully you should see an improvement. Today I think I'm going to be doing a large panoramic view. I've already started the picture but um, it's only the first washes that I've put on there so I'll pick up from there and it's a scene of rock which I've took several photographs of rock when I was down at uh, a recent exhibition there and I've stitched them together on Photoshop to make a large panoramic view and that's what I'll be using as a, as a reference source so on that note we'll make a start this is the photograph I'll be using. I stitch this together from five shots in Photoshop to make a panoramic. Uh, this is the panoramic start that I've already done. It's on 140 pound arch rough paper. Uh, I split a full imperial sheet the opposite way to how I normally do. I'd normally split it into two half imperial sheets that way but uh, I've split it lengthways to get the panoramic uh, viewpoint. It's on a Ken Bromley style stretcher that I've made myself. I've made a couple of these just to give this a whirl. And uh, the colours I've used so far is cobalt blue and alizarin crimson in the sky. Uh, there's ultramarine, uh, cobalt blue and viridian actually in the water there. Uh, Naples yellow forms this sandbank here and this is light red at the front with a touch of burnt sienna in it obviously very diluted and uh, that's just a basic wash there's a lot more work to actually do on this I may need to do more work on the sky it's come out a little paler than I thought it would but I'm just going to hang back and see how it looks after I've painted in this headland here uh, it may well be enough but uh, we shall see so on with the painting Right, the first job is to mix up some colours for this headland. So I'm going to start uh, painting across here. It'll be fairly um, subdued. That is obviously a closer headland there, so that will be a little darker. But uh, we'll put that in first. So I'll start with mixing some cobalt blue. And too much water in there. Let's uh, dry that out. So I've just washed the palette and I haven't dried it, so there's an awful lot of water still in the palette. Right, okay, try again. Cobalt blue. Touch of water in that. Uh, some oil in. Or cobalt yellow. And this sort of tending slightly towards the blue side. Touch more yellow in that I think. And just a touch of raw sienna. Sort of takes the brightness off slightly. Right, that's one. And we'll mix a darker green. Again, let's just dry this out. So I'll go for some viridian. Some ultramarine. Like a turquoise. And then then Sienna. I 
that's quite a nice dark green that does. Okay, and possibly just a, a lighter one as well, just tending more towards the blue side as well. So, let's try that out. Okay, so I think we'll go for some ultramarine. Still a bit wishy washy. And uh, yellow ochre, I think. Just to. So I've got three different greens there to go at. So we're ready to make a start. Right, there's quite a few buildings here as well, so I'll leave bits and pieces out of that. Um, this is mainly the green, so I'll pop that in first. So I'll just put a touch more than I'll occur in that. So we're going. To paint all of that, I can put the darker colour over the top. Don't forget that most colours they go on quite dark, but they do lighten over time. So a bit more green in there. with some darker colours in there. Just weaken that off a little bit actually. Okay. So I'm just cutting that back. That was a little too wet when I put that on there. That's all right. There's a touch more green with that. Just going to knock this back a little bit as well. That's getting a bit strong. useful way to knock stuff back if it's uh, just dampen it and then just run a tissue over it that'll take some of the colour out right. okay um, some dark around this headland here and I'll just go for the darker one that's better Comes almost down to the beach, beach line there. Right, and there's dark along this front here. Just a very, very thin beach line there as well. 
So I'm coming along here. And one up to there. some of the fields there. Soften that line. Just with a damp brush. It's made a bit of a hard line there. I don't want it too hard. And there is quite a dark line actually along the water's edge there. I don't know whether this will be dark enough. I'll give it a try. I think I should touch more blue in that just to make it a bit darker. This is a bit closer. I'm going to sort of feather that up to that dark there. Line of trees actually along there, just in the distance. Get some of the paint off my brush and just to go for a smaller brush, I think. Let's go for a Number two. Just putting some of these darks in here. trees sort of on the skyline there. Just soften the bottom edge. Well. Alright, it's a couple of third lines over here. trees just on the hedge line there and it's a little dark there so I'll just put a little bit of dry brush just on that bit there and you will see me doing this as well smudging the finger 
fingers are good they're as good as brushes sometimes again the dark line of trees just on the horizon there smudge those in It's a bit uh, darker. That's ultramarine again into this. Uh, well, that was originally uh, cobalt blue and uh, yellow ochre. But I'm just trying to just increase the dark here. Just on the shoreline. Take the harshness out of that. I'm going to put some on the water there, I don't want that there. So let's just clean that out. Okay. And so there's quite a lot of buildings there, so I'm going to leave quite a few white bits in amongst what I'm going to paint now. So if I just put a strong shoreline in again. I want to give the illusion of houses a tea in the distance there. So this is just random brush strokes, verticals and horizontals, just to probably tidy this up a little bit after as well. It just gives the impression from a distance of houses. Well, it's got some quite dark areas over here. Put those in first. Coming up to the boathouse. Again, there's buildings just showing in the distance there. So let's put the darks in. And a few more darks just there. And. I like to green. Just put more yellow in that. That's all real in. All real in. I'm putting in there. That's good. Right, so the sun's catching that. Just on this bit here. And there's buildings down on the water's edge there, so. Leave those blank for the moment. 
Okay. Those headlands stronger, so I need to just make these colours up a little stronger than what they are. So, so it's more aureolin, that was called the cobalt blue. With a touch of raw sienna. Ooh, a bit too much. So let's uh, put a bit more cobalt blue in that. That's about right. Okay, and this should come up stronger now, just on this headland here. quite a dark line of trees actually bordering the water there so just uh, put some water through that now so spread the colour a little that's not too uniform and when that's dry I'll put some more darks over the top of that okay just make that a bit darker Putting some ultramarine in that now, just to do the top of this here. And there is a base for that. The sound is quite a strong line. It's Okay. Right. And let's mix up a dark. If I go for some burnt umber and uh, ultramarine. It's a bit too black, so I'll put a bit more brown in that. That looks about right. Not take that down. Not quite to the shoreline there. I mean, it's a bit undulating as well, so just dabbing up with a brush. back and then it goes out into the sea just a little bit some rocks out into the sea there and while that's still wet just pop pop a bit of yellow ochre in that straight from the tin there uh, straight from my palette just to push things around a little bit, add a little bit of interest. Dry my brush. I'll soften the bottom edge of this onto the beach there. And so just one or two bits, just soften these up into that field there. A slightly darker line afterwards. Oh, I've got to let that dry first, really. Right, to do a little bit more work on the headland now, I've uh, got a bigger, slightly bigger number two brush here. Uh, it needs some darks putting in here, 
uh, a line of trees and then obviously some extra texture in the fields so let's mix up uh, some more dark uh, so I'll go for some ultramarine meridian to get that turquoisey colour a bit more uh, ultramarine in that and then burnt sienna some nice rich dark Loaded brush there, just get most of the paint off it, and we'll start with some bank of trees here. So it goes back like that. Um, I'll just dry brush this actually, just in there. There's quite a bunch of trees, just to there. Uh, and uh, just put some dry brush actually on this headland. And I've got to do this right handed because I can't get at it from uh, my left hand side there. So I'll soften up the brush in a minute. Sort of fit in there. And it goes up and tucked in on the top there. And a bit more. Just go back into the sky there. Okay. Let's just soften that in now. It's a little harsh as it is. Just a damp brush. as well. Just take it back out of the field for some shadow there. Soften that edge. some water over that just to break it up a little bit on this this is just pure water I'm putting on here just to spread the paint around a little bit and give a little bit more texture to that headlong there back out again. And this has ended up a little harder than I wanted so let's just uh, lift that back out slightly. That's better. You have to be careful when you're dabbing that uh, you don't dab with the dirty part of the uh, tissue. Then that off that. Then there's trees again. There's quite a bunch of trees there. So I'm just mixing up some ultramarine and burnt umber. And we'll dot some of these in here. But a bit of a tree line comes a bit more there as well.
for the texture on that now. That should do it. So I'm just making this line less straight and put a few bits of trees obviously in that as well. And let's just lighten that up a bit as well. Put some green in there. Okay. That's better. Okay, and then there's the other side with all these houses, again I'll just do dots and dashes and horizontals and just to give the impression that there's houses there, can't actually draw any individual houses because they're so far away, but it uh, just gives that impression. It's dark and out of the top of the there as well. Okay. Soften the top edge of that. Just one or two houses. Just draw some shadows in between them. Quite a dark line actually at the bottom there as well. Extends all the way across here. And there's stronger lines actually. The fields there, just a bit of dry brushwork. That's all in the field, just there. Watch on that. Just uh, put some darks actually in that. Some one or two trees in amongst that lot. Using the dark green here just to give some tree line just behind the town there. Another line. A few different darks actually in the town itself. Make these a bit darker as well, just this, just in front of this here. Using the dry brush technique again, just to emphasize this tree line. I think that 
it's a bit of uh, the old green just to pick that out again. Smudge it. Break your lines up as well. There's just a little mast on the, well, the memorial on the top of the hill there as well. Dry brush work actually on that. So just to soften that in, let's just knock that back a bit as well. Okay, I managed to do a little bit of a repair there. What I've basically done is I've mixed a little bit of white gouache with the tinted uh, cobble blue. Um, it doesn't hidden it completely, but uh, it, it doesn't draw the eye anymore, that smudge. I don't know quite what happened there. Anyway, um, headlands pretty much painted now. I'll just do a few more flecks of um, dry brush actually in this part here. Just to darken that down a bit. And that tree, I've lost that tree line as well. So let's uh, put that back in. Just stippling with the brush. Okay, see text. It's quite a dry mix I've got on the palette now. So let's just uh, st stipple that in. And also up that edge there. The hedge line there as well. goes up into the that field and sort of around the top there. Okay, just change that as well slightly. A little bit too straight. Darker line along the shoreline here. It sort of extends up in places into that headland. Dry that with a dry brush onto the beach there. Okay. a bit darker there just again to break that headland there okay ideal right so essentially that's the distant coastline finished uh, the next stage will be to do this beach